Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. <sighs> Yesterday was a hard day. Um, I posted a video, it offended some of you. I really, from the bottom of my heart, feel sick to my stomach that I offended anyone and it was not my intent. I spoke in a way that sounded ignorant and that was not how I meant it. I really hope that you can forgive me and if you cannot, um, I hope you will find it in your heart to understand that I was not coming from a place of disdain or anything else I was trying to understand and I came across it the wrong way so I do apologize. So today I want to do something a little more light. I want to do the Netflix book tag. I saw this on Sophie from Portal in the Pages channel and I'm gonna dive right in and the first question is recently watched the last book that I finished and that was Margaret the First by Daniel Dutton. I saw this on Simon from Savage Reads channel and I picked it up upon his recommendation. I enjoyed this book. I will definitely be following up with Margaret's works. She actually was a sci-fi writer in a time when I don't think that was pretty normal and I will go more into detail about her life and the history of her when I do the full review of this book. Um, probably just a wrap up but I really did enjoy this and it gave me a lot of insight into it and it was really interestingly written for a historical fiction. The next question is top picks a book or books that I'm recommended based on my interests and this one you guys recommend me constantly and I promise you I've read it. This is Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. I have read this so many times. I think five at this point. I love this book. It is one of my all-time favorite. It is the book that I recommend to almost anyone and everyone who asks me the best way to get inside the mind of a person with mental health issues and mental illness. Um, I, I don't recommend it because I think that it is the only interpretation of how somebody with mental health or mental health issues can function. I recommend it because it's funny and it's cheerful and it really tries to portray the mentally ill in a more cheerful light. It's really hard to find a good book about mental health and mental illness in a cheerful way. It's just really difficult. But this book I love and you guys are right to recommend it to me. So if you've got anything else, I'm always open to that. Recently added the last book that I bought and that was a book based on a book olive. This is Goddess by Kelly Gardner and I have begun reading this. It is written so interestingly. It's written from the perspective of you being a priest taking the confession of a young girl who is the main um, character of this story and she's talking to you as if you're rep you're replying to her and having a conversation with her. It's really fascinating so far. I'm really enjoying it and it is just a really fun story so far. Next is Popular on Netflix, a book everyone knows about, two that I've read and two that I have not. So the two that I have read are Foxlow and The Tidal Zone. These are two that have made the round on booktube. A lot of people really dislike this one. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really interestingly done. It's from the perspective of a young child in a cult and her experience during that cult life and the change in the cult and a shift in power. And then the title zone by Sarah Mar Moss. Sarah Moss has kind of become a booktube darling in her own right. She has everyone across the board reading her. She is really, really fabulous and I really enjoy her work. This though was not my favorite. Signs for Lost Children was my favorite for Sarah Moss's books. But I did enjoy this. I thought it was good. It, it just didn't do it as well for me as many others it did. Um, and then the two that I have not read are My Name is Leon by Kit DeWall and The Golden Finch by Donna Tartt. Now Donna Tartt I've read her two other books and I really enjoy them. This one I just haven't picked up yet. I don't know much about this story. I know it has something to do with a son and his mother passing away and his experience after that but that's all I know. And then oh we're not falling. That's not what we're doing. No no. And then My Name is Leon is one that you would think I would have read. This is like an ultimate check, check, check for me on so many different levels. It talks about so a child in the foster care system and his mental health during that time and his separation from his brother and his race and how that affects his adoption chances and all of that. And I, I really think this is one that I don't know why I haven't read it, but I haven't yet. Should get on that. Actually, this might count for Diversathon. 
Does this count for Diversathon? Someone tell me in the comments below. If Joss or Simon is watching this, just tell me in the comments below. Does this count? Because I want to know. Because I want to read it. Um, Comedy's a funny book. And for me, that is The Trouble with Women by Jackie Fleming. This one I saw on booktube and then I requested it and I was sent it for review and I really never got to talk about this as much as I would like. If you would like to see my full thoughts on this let me know. I'd be happy to do a full chit chat on it or go more into depth on it but I read it in I think November or December so it kind of got mixed amongst all the other books. This is a feminist text where it kind of discusses the history of feminism. It's a funny way to talk about a pretty deep topic. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm afraid I'm going to offend everybody every sentence that comes out of my mouth, so bear with me. Um, drama, a character with a dramatic king or queen aspect to them. So a drama king or queen. I really hate that term, but it's fine. Sue Ellen from Gone with the Wind. Miss Sue Ellen, who is... Scarlet's younger sister. Not her youngest, but her younger sister. And... Oh my goodness, that child, that woman is just the epitome of drama and it's it's just it's incredible. She really bothered me as a character. She really bothered me as a person. I really connected with so many of the characters in this, but her I just I could not because the drama was so intense. So intense. Animated a book with cartoons on the cover. Ta-da! This is the bombshell. She can do it. Um, this is a new series that DC has. I believe the third one might be out at this point, which means I need to pick that up. Um, I am hoping to do my next, um, the psychology of talking about Wonder Woman. Um, unless anybody wants to see the Joker before Wonder Woman, let me know about that in the comments below. You guys may not remember what I'm talking about. I actually will link my book, my uh, video on the psychology of Harley Quinn down below. And then watch it again, a book or series you want to reread. And this one, I have not read this since high school. And I always loved it, but I haven't read it in such a long time. And this is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I had never found an edition that I really loved. And then I found the Barnes and Noble edition and it was beautiful and it was stunning. And I mean, it even has, it's like gold edges. And it's just, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I just, I can't. I just, I love it. It's so pretty. So pretty. But yes, that is definitely one that I need to reread. I haven't read that in years and I, I need to get on that. Documentary, a nonfiction everyone needs to read. Okay, I know I've talked about this a few times, but... Sex, Lies, and Handwriting. I loved this book. I thought it was fantastic. It was really interesting. I do find myself analyzing my own handwriting frequently now, but that's that's another story. Really wonderful book and I really enjoyed it. And I think that if you like things about like the history of serial killers, yeah, this does that pretty damn good. Um, action Adventure, uh, an, a, a book that's action packed. I don't have many of those. This is the only one I could find and I loved this book. This is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. I will read anything Jeff Vandermeer comes out with because this was like my my start in psychology or no. What am I talking about? This was my start in sci-fi. There we go, Acacia. Good job. I love the Southern Wreath Trilogy. Love, love this book. Love it. And you can like see, it's totally, I don't even know if you can see actually. It's like torn on the top and it's like stained on the side. Like this has been through a couple of handbags and a couple of, couple of coffee spills. It's seen its day, but I won't get rid of that edition because I will not. And then new releases, a book newly out and coming out or coming out that I really, really want to read. And for me, that is, oh my gosh, no falling. Down Among the Sticks and Bones by... Did y'all hear that? That was just like my entire shower falling apart. Okay. Um, 
Sean and McGuire. This, I read the first one, which is... <sighs> So I read Every Heart and Doorway, the first book, and I loved it. And I was comparing it to childhood trauma and the experience after childhood trauma. And I'm hoping that this will follow through with that analogy that I had of that book. I don't know if that was how it was meant to be read, but I read it that way and it worked really well. And I'm hoping this will continue that. So yes, that is my Netflix book tag. And who do I want to Netflix and chill with? Um, who am I gonna tag? Amanda Center is on vacation, but I'm still gonna tag her. Yeah, I'm still gonna tag her. Hannah Tay, I'm gonna tag her. Um, our special snowflake, Adam, I'm gonna tag him. I think the restricted section did this already. If they did not, I wanna see you girls do it. I feel like I watched it. If I'm wrong, you girls have to do it. If I'm right, I'm going to go watch it right now because you girls always make my day better and I need to go watch that. Um, who else? Blatantly Bookish. I'd love to see her. I would also really enjoy... Brittany, have you done this from Under the Radar Books? Have you done this? If you have not, you should. You should do this. Um... Can you tell I'm like scatterbrained tonight? I I really I'm I'm feeling completely drained and just devastated that I hurt anybody. I really am and it's it's got me completely flustered and over the top like upset and I don't know what to do about it. So I'm just going to apologize and I've changed the content and I've tried to make it work. But um, yeah, it broke my heart that I hurt anybody. It really broke my heart and um, it still does and it's been bothering me all day. I've even asked other booktubers for advice and they said to just apologize and move. Basically, they're like, you know, apologize to who you need to. And that's what I'm doing. But I, I still feel like I've, I've screwed up. I feel like I failed. And uh I don't like that feeling so <sighs> take it with a grain of salt take it for what you will but um yeah it really affected me today so um yeah I will see you guys tomorrow with another diversathon sort of themed video um talking about diverse books recommended to you um but this was kind of a break day but I will see you guys soon <laughs>